this question from Alana. Go ahead. Good morning, Dave. Um, a late scratch for Dustin May. Is is he coming out of the pen today, or is this more of an IL situation because of that foot? No, uh, you know, the plan was to have Dustin take down some innings here, but just uh, bazooka start uh, made sense and got a pen um, pretty much available tonight, today. Uh, so I expect uh, Dustin to be in there to take down some innings, but uh, when we deploy him, um, I think it remains to be seen. Okay, what made uh, Bruce Dar the right guy for the uh, the start today? I, I just like the the, uh, the idea that, uh, you know, with who they kind of hit, the top three, four hitters, um, I, I love the matchup. Getting him in there, uh, he's rested. Um, getting him in and out, and then also we've got – some other lefties that uh, we could deploy with some righties and kind of mix and match. But again, we'll, we'll see Dustin in there today. Um, with the lack of incentive, for lack of a better phrase, of, of getting the number one seed, it looks like they're not deploying Paddock today. What's your opinion on the, the seeding this year and, and how it may not behoove teams to be the number one seed the way that the format's set up? Um, there's a lot of uh, things that, um, you know, kind of came to fruition a little late in the game as far as in the middle of the season, kind of how things were finalized. Uh, the benefit, you know, not no benefit, non-benefit of being a first place team, um, having a higher seed. Uh, some of it is kind of circumstantial. There's nothing we can do about it. But some of the things I think that uh, we had control over as a uh, as Major League Baseball, and uh, we we missed. But there's nothing we can do about it. So I think for us, the messaging is go out there and win the division and beat the teams that you're supposed to play. Um, do you have an update on Caleb Ferguson? Was he able to get an MRI today? He's actually, I think, in there right as we speak. Um, and so I haven't got word on the outcome, the results, but um, I'm still hopeful. But I'll know more once he gets out of the tube. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Next question from Dave Asse. Go ahead. Hi, Dave. Hi, uh, Dave. <laughs> uh, Zach McKinstry's agency may have jumped the gun. They they kind of were excited and said you're calling him up today. How do you plan on using him? What's his role going to be? Well, uh, Zach's co Zach's coming here, and then. Uh, we, we don't know if we're going to activate him yet, but we just have him uh, coming here from Los Angeles. So he's en route. And uh, obviously, there'll have to be a roster made. But that'll be sort of, uh, we have, I think, an hour at the same time to make that decision. But uh, we just don't want to disclose it. Dave, uh, as far as Walker Bueller, is he with you guys? Is he going to Coors Field? Uh, what's his status? Uh, Walker is not with us. He threw uh, a couple days ago, and it went really well. It was six and uh, eighty, I think it was. Uh, he threw with it covered, the finger covered, and it went really well. Um, I, I don't think that with the rules, he's allowed to come to a, come with us to Denver. So I don't see him being with us. I think he'll uh, throw again in uh, at the secondary site here when we're on the road. Are you uh, optimistic that he'll be able to get a start next week when you're at home? Yeah, you cut out a little bit, but um, I am optimistic. So I think that he'll do one more simulated. It's probably going to be like a six and 90, and then he'll make the la his last start of the season with us and be ready for the postseason. Thanks. Yep. Next question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Dave, uh, I think before Sunday's game, I asked you if that was a practice run for, you know, bullpen game for the October, and you mentioned that you, you wouldn't have someone at bulk, bulk innings. Um, like he would in October. Is today a practice run? I, I think that's fair. Um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, in this kind of situation where we have five starters that we like a lot, um, but there's certain matchups that you can kind of, uh, you know, benefit from, maximize, and kind of put together certain things. It, it just gives you better to win. So um, to have guys that are open to it, whether it's Tony, uh, uh, Dustin, Julio, whatever, you know, whatever the situation, um, to give the Dodgers the best chance to win that night um, is a good thing.
but uh, and, and also just to see uh, Bruce Dar being able to do this uh, and see how it kind of plays out um, is certainly added information. Um, yesterday, with yesterday's uh, playoff format being official, I'm just wondering, when did you guys know, when were you informed that there will be no off days after the wild card round? Uh, I think there are off days, actually. Yeah, there are off days after the wild card round. There's two. Oh, there yeah. Okay. Well, I there's but in the division series, there's in the division series, there's no off days. Would would that have changed how you operated at the trade deadline? Um, I don't think it would have, but I I still I don't think it would have, but I still think that you know. As you go into a season, these are things that should have been dealt with before and, we're a week out. Mm -hmm. and, and what do you make of the, the commissioner saying he'd like the playoff field to be 16 teams um, beyond this season? That's, I, I think that's his, uh, that's his prerogative. Um, so, you know, it really matters, you know, what we think. And, and uh, yeah, so. That's whatever the rules are in place, then we just got to kind of follow it. Thank you. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Uh, Dave, with, with no off days in the division series, um, do you think, I don't know, once you learned that, did you feel like your chances in any way kind of improved given the starting pitching depth? Well, yeah, I, I think that certainly the, the most important thing is getting through the wild card series. So that's uh, first and, and foremost, right? Um, but when you're looking at just the division series specifically, I do think it it benefits us. But again, that's on paper, and we still got to go out there and execute, make pitches, and, and take good at bats, regardless of the opponent. Um, so I, I think in a vacuum, yeah, it it it, uh, it helps us. Uh, we like it, but you still got to go out there and play, which is most important. Now, with guys like Bueller and, and May obviously kind of dealing with some, you know, injury type stuff, I mean, is Alex Wood a candidate at all to, to start at some point, or is, is that just not possible at this stage? I, I, don't, I don't see that happening. Okay. Right. Thank you. You got it, Dylan. Next question is from Bill Plunkett. Go ahead, Bill. Dave, just playing devil's advocate a little bit, if the playoff format – with no off days during you know, the series benefits a team that has a deep uh, starting rotation. Why would you then play around with things like bullpen games and openers? Well, it just, it just, there's just, there's, there's a lot of, there's different layers, Bill, and it's a longer conversation. It, it's kind of, it's basically, it's just maximizing matchups. So when you have guys that can, uh, in different situations and you're trying to get 27 outs and uh, each club is going to try to figure out the best way to get 27 outs and they all um, everyone has different views on it media has different views on it fans have different views and we so more most importantly is that the Dodgers internally were aligned um, so I think that's kind of the whole crux of it and was this uh, part of the plan going down the stretch before the postseason format was announced uh, not necessarily. Um, I, I expected Dustin to pitch. Um, like I said, the plan, you know, three days ago was for him to potentially start. And, um, I, I, you know, we have that right to kind of pivot when we want to, if we choose to. And the, the roster move with McKinstry, is it uh, tied to uh, Ferguson's MRI? Um, it's, it's not, um, but I just don't want to comment on it. But uh, it, it is not, though. Thank you. You got it, Bill. Dave, um, with with Jock, his he's getting kind of killed by the shift, I think, and his ground ball numbers are up this year more than usual. Is it is that because of how he's being pitched or his approach or, or something different? Can you repeat that, Eric? Sure. Um, Jock uh, Peterson this year, uh, his ground ball percentage is way up from his career norm. Is that because of the way he's being pitched or uh, his approach or something else? I would say it's uh, more the way he's being pitched. I think he's being uh, spun more and there's more change-ups. And then also the approach with the 
layered on with the mechanics of not being able to stay through the baseball. Thanks. Combo. Yep. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Jim. The unmute sign just came up. A uh, couple things, Dave, regarding Kenley. Is he available today? And did last night's performance getting into a jam and then getting out of it, did that kind of ease any concerns you might have about him right now? Um, Kenley, first of all, Kenley is not available today. Um, it's three out of four. Uh, he'll be available tomorrow. And um, I thought he threw the ball well last night. And so, you know, my challenge to him and to everybody in our ball club is every day is a test. You know, we're, we're getting down to the end. And so I, I really was um, pleased with the way he responded to that uh, stress in that ninth inning. Thanks.